Welcome to Dave's Tech Table. After a lot of you guys had watched Premiere Pro CS3 working with Panasonic's P2 footage natively, the first thing you guys were asking me is, this looks great. What about After Effects? I'd really love to see that in action. In this quick video, I'm going to show you exactly that. Let's take a look. Okay, you see I'm here on my desktop and I've already got my P2 card mounted, which means I've got my USB cable connected to my camera and I've got media in the camera. So let's go ahead and start by just launching After Effects CS3. The first step is just like you would think, we're going to go to File, Import, File, and I'm going to go out to my desktop and read my P2 card, go to the contents folder, video, and just select a couple of random clips here. As you see, the MXF files were directly imported inside of After Effects. At this point, I could go to New Composition and go ahead and set up a composition this way, but I don't really know how long each of these clips are. And to keep this really simple, all you have to do is select a clip, drag it down to the New Composition icon, and After Effects will figure out the length of the clip, aspect ratio, and the various settings. And as you see here, directly right inside of After Effects, I'm already playing a P2 MXF file. Now the thing to keep in mind is this is a standard MXF file. This has not been rendered. This has not been uh, altered in any way. There's no intermediate codecs. This is a straight MXF file, exactly the same way that you saw us doing it inside of Premiere Pro. I'm going to go ahead and import another file here, and I'm going to do that just by double-clicking in the project bin. And I'm going to go to another contents folder that I copied onto my RAID. And let's just grab a green screen shot. Okay, so at this point, I'm going to go ahead and just drag it on the new icon. And you see it's the opening shot of me working um, with that intro piece that you saw at the beginning of the video. So what is it like working with uh, effects and so forth with native P2 footage? All I have to do at this point is just type in uh, the name of my effect. In this case, it'll be key light. Key light will come up. And let's just go ahead and start working with key light. I'll go ahead and key out my green uh, background there. And let's just go ahead and uh, bump some of these settings up here a little bit. Now, it might be easier if we go to our screen mat so we can kind of see what we're doing here. And that doesn't look too bad. And I'll go ahead and just bump some of that white. Let me bump it down just a touch there. That looks pretty good. And I can just take some of the edge off of that. There we go. Now all I have to do at this point is just go back down to final result. And I can see that I've got my key. And that doesn't look too bad. Now if I want to check my key, um, obviously I can just go ahead and just grab any of these clips down here and just give myself a background and just say, okay, you know, that, that key is not too bad. I could certainly tighten that up a little bit and start to work with that. But all in all, that's a fairly clean key. The next step you might want to do is try to see what is it like uh, working with projects that are already done inside of Premiere Pro. How do I get those projects inside of After Effects? Well, that's really easy. The best way to start looking at uh, the workflow here is to go ahead and launch your nonlinear editor, in this case, Premiere Pro. So I'm going to go ahead and just go out to my docs here and just grab a Premiere Pro document and launch Premiere Pro because I want to show you what the project looks like first before we bring that into After Effects. I'm going to go ahead and point out a few things, and you see we've got a, a standard PSD file. Um, a couple other things just to point out, if you happen to have a clip that you bring in, and let's say you wanted to make a picture-in-picture, picture, and we move that down possibly right over here, and let's go ahead and just add some sort of effect to that, maybe like a, a beveled edge. So you see that we've got a nice beveled edge over here. And if I play some of that out again, this is just standard Premiere working with uh, P2 footage, exactly like you would think, just like we saw in the intro video. At this point, I'm going to go ahead and just save this project and close Premiere Pro. Now, back in After Effects, I'm going to go and import that project directly in. So I'm going to say Import File. 
and it asks me, do I want all the sequences? In this case, I've just got two, but sure, I'll go ahead and have After Effects bring all those sequences in. And you'll notice what's happening over here. It's reading all of that footage. So it just brought in all of those clips, and again, fairly quickly. So all I'm going to do at this point is just go ahead and double click on my composition. You're going to notice my Photoshop file came directly in. And if I zoom in a little on this, you're going to also notice a couple of other things. Here's the picture in picture with the beveled effect. And if I happen to click on this and flip this down under effects, you're going to see that it brought over that beveled edge directly from Premiere Pro. So this is just an amazing way to work with P2 footage. Again, I've got Premiere doing P2 natively. I've got After Effects doing P2 natively. It really makes the production premium an unbelievable P2 workflow. Okay, what about other workflows inside of After Effects, like nested compositions? You'll see that you're really not limited to the things you can do inside of After Effects just because you're using P2 footage. I'm going to go ahead and create a new composition here. And now you'll see I've got my entire Annapolis sequence on my screen. So what happens if I want to add an effect like snow? All I have to do is just add the effect. And in this case, I'll just go ahead and make the flake size a little larger so it's easier for you guys to see. And just go ahead and play that out. And you'll see the effect is working quite nicely. And now I have that effect of snow over all of my clips. So again, this is fairly standard routine for working with After Effects uh, using nested compositions. But I just wanted to show you that you can just use these native P2 files, these MXF files, just as you would any other After Effects file. Now let's take another look at um, a different workflow. What happens if we need to take a clip like that green screen clip that I had and bring that back into Premiere Pro. Maybe I want to use the key light effect inside of After Effects to key something on the Premiere Pro timeline. How exactly would I do that? Okay, let's go ahead and go back to our project here. And I'm going to find that green screen clip that I wanted. Here it is right here. And what we're going to do is just go ahead and bring this into Premiere Pro. So I closed Premiere Pro before, so let's go ahead and launch that one project to bring it back. Okay, so here inside of Premiere Pro, what we're going to do now is just find the area where we want to go ahead and add our green screen. So let's just say I wanted to do it right here as I'm sitting on the dock with these boats. I'm going to jump back over to After Effects and find that clip. Actually, it's this clip here. So now that I've got the clip that I wanted here, I'm going to go ahead and turn off this background that we had used before because I don't need that clip there delete that one and let me just go ahead and check that that actually looks fine okay now at this point what I'm gonna do is just move After Effects over here there's a couple different ways to do dynamic link but this is probably one of the easier ways um, a lot of times when I'm doing this I have two displays but since I'm just here on one display I'm just gonna go from project bin to project bin okay let's go ahead and just drag and drop this right inside of Premiere Pro and you'll see it comes up inside of Premiere Pro. And I'm going to go ahead and just drag and drop this right here. And at this point, there's my key directly uh, running inside of Premiere Pro. All I have to do at this point is just go ahead and play some of that back. Now, if I want to go ahead and render that in After Effects, I can do that. But it's actually previewing quite nicely here. I can sort of look at my green screen here. And I might want to go ahead uh, back inside of After Effects and start working on my, uh, my color correction a little bit. The color correction here looks um, like it could use some help. So if I click on this, I would just simply just go down and maybe go to my foreground um, color correction, start turning some of this on, uh, maybe up my saturation just a touch here, maybe bring up my contrast, brightness just a touch. And if I wanted to go ahead and start playing around uh, with the hue, maybe add a little bit of a uh, blue in there. I mean, that looks a little bit better. And all I have to do now is just go back to Premiere Pro, and those changes will happen. It'll go ahead and bring up my saturation just like so. Anyway, just to show you guys, working with P2, whether it's Premiere or whether it's After Effects, it's all the same.